You know, we know everybody likes seeing more quilts, and so we can't see too many quilts when we come to a quilt show, can we? <laughs> and we wanted a way for those of you who make quilts that you would never enter in a quilt show. I know you say that. My stuff isn't good enough to enter. Um, and so we thought it, this was a fun way for you to be able to share your quilts with each other. And so Liz is going to bring you up here, and I hope you've written down some information about yourself and your quilt. Um, and so Liz will take care of getting you up here to show off your quilt, and I'll read the card. Okay, so this is Sarah Jones, and she's from Grove City, Ohio. Her quilt is The Shape of Things, and she used piecing, raw edge applique, hot ribbon, gold fabric paint, decorative stitches, and beading. Giddy. So this is Sarah Chapel from Lawrence, Kansas, and this is called Dutch Orange and Blue. Her techniques are paper piecing, big stitch hand quilting with pearl cotton floss, facing on the quilt rather than binding, and a lot of us are doing that. Have you done facing on some of your quilts? We're seeing a lot more of that. Thank you. So this is Dr. Arnold Cross, Kraus, Kraus from Benton, Kentucky, and this is called Kentucky Lake Summer. It's the fourth in a series of skunk quilts. You know what, there must be a story there. And he used raw edge applique, free motion quilting on a stationary long arm, and the original pattern was by Karen Crocker, his daughter. Thank you. This is Susan Haskell from West Falls, New York. This is her feathered star, pretty feathered star. I learned this technique at a class with Nancy Mahoney at the Spring Lancaster Quilt Show. It's machine pieced, then quilted on her domestic machine with rulers in free motion. Wow, pretty. How many of you are using rulers with your free motion quilting? Some of you are. You know what, those are some of our most popular classes because everybody wants to learn how to do that, don't we? Christine Devaney from Buffalo, New York, A Walk in the Woods. The center panel was completed in a class with Karen Sink, and the borders were added later. She machine pieced and hand quilted. Show us the other side. <laughs> Thank you. And Linda Bauman from East Aurora, New York, has Morgan's Happy Place was inspired by the mermaid made by a friend, entered in, uh, entered in an embellishment challenge, so there's hand beading, hand painting, sequins, and ribbons. Lots of embellishments. Thank you. Rebecca Wetzel from Evansville, Indiana with the Rain Tree Quilt Guild. She used, this was a crayon challenge for the guild. Three crayons plus one accent color. All right, well thank you for sharing. Chris Pickles from Issaquah, Washington. She does hand applique, machine piecing, and hand quilting. And the pattern was inspired by Leaf Symphony 1996 from Quiltmaker Magazine. Thank you. Okay, this is Vic Vicki Westrich from Scott City, Missouri. Sorry. St. Kit Souvenir, piecing of batik, and she says, I'm a real beginner, but you know what? We all start somewhere, don't we? Yes, thank you for sharing. Nancy Eisenhower from Belleville, Illinois, Blue Moon, and she did Machine Applique, a song title with a color word in it. <laughs> thank you for sharing with us. Christine, or not, you're going to have to, Yavorsky from O'Fallon, Illinois, A Tree for All Seasons. She did hand applique, hand embroidery, trapunto, silk ribbon embroidery, and machine quilting. Adelia Ockerbloom from West Grove, Pennsylvania. She did this medallion quilt with the eight point star and flying geese around it. It's machine pieced, hand quilted, and it was a Joe Morton pattern and workshop. Very nice. Thank you so much for sharing that with us. Vicki Bowman is with the Red Rose Quilters Guild. That's our guild who helps in Lancaster. And this is Holy Ganesha. Is that how you say that? Ganesha by Madison Hastings. Laser cut quilts. She sewed it down and quilted it with superior micro quilter thread. 
Take a good picture of that, guys. Look at the way she's done her hanging sleeve. Okay, Bev Barnett from Arden, Delaware. You've come the longest in this group, I think, or the farthest. The pine comb paper pieced after 10 days of rain, and it was a modern quilt guild pattern by Alice. And also, you put your name on it. How cute. <laughs> thank you. Oh. <laughs> yes, thank you so much. And we plan to do this at all of our shows. So if you're coming to a show, make sure you stick a small quilt in your suitcase to be able to share it with us.